Hi, this is Adrienne with Swift Galleries. I wanted to show you what an actual sales meeting looks like when you are working with your client. Um, I've gone in and already built this sales meeting, created an in-person sales meeting. If I would like to, I can click on this and add it to my calendar. The calendar uh, provides a URL or a link that goes directly to where we're going to go right now. All right, so this is my sales meeting. I can choose the image. This is a horizontal image. I could also choose a vertical image if I'd like to for this title slide. All right, I can choose if I want to do the slideshow in Swift Galleries. I can choose if I, if I want to choose yes and no images. I can choose if I want to compare images, but I do need to go in and design galleries and check out. All right, so I'm gonna show you everything just so you can see what that looks like. If you want, you can go into full screen mode. Uh, space bar is your pause and play. Um, also, if you are on a tablet or you just feel like it, you can use, uh, you can just tap or use your mouse to click on the pause and the left and right arrows. So for, for example, if you wanted to just go slower, you could pause this and just use your arrow keys. All right. Once I'm done with this slideshow, you can always go through it a second time if you want. I'm gonna go in and choose images though, because you don't need to see that twice. <laughs> Your up, down, left, right arrows are going to give you access to, to what you're doing here. Left and right just moves from image to image. Up and down, up is a yes, down is a no. Everything is automatically um, chosen from the beginning as a yes image, but you can change them to no images as you go if you'd like. Once you are finished going through choosing images, if you need to, you can compare images. So for example, these are pretty similar images. I can click compare these images. Um, no images are kind of grayed, but if I wanted to change something to a yes image, I could do that, and then it's just going to change it to the light color instead of grayed out. Um, when I choose a no image, it's going to go away. All right, now when I'm done comparing, I can click stop comparing. Now I'm going to go into the designer. I have the simplified designer turned on. You can change that if you would like it turned off. The simplified designer is automatically going to go into saved suggestions and uh, if I had multiple suggestions they would be here in a grid format and then I can just add it to the cart. So if my client's like, I love it, let's get it, I can click add to cart and be done. Now if instead I wanted to go in and custom build something, I could do that. If I have my client, say my client gave me their room photo right now, I can upload a room photo right now if I need to and calibrate it um, and then use that. Um, let's see, I really like this kitchen. We're not gonna order the same thing. I want this black frame and I like it large, but I want it horizontal. Go ahead and move it. Of course, you can build a whole gallery if you want to. Um, I just like the simplicity of the space with a single image. And I really like this brick image. On the bright white wall. All right. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the cart. Now this is what I tell clients. When I am going to order something from like Amazon or Columbia or wherever else online, I just add everything to the cart and then my cart is where I do all of my my final choosing. So if, for example, my client's like, you know what, let's just get the triptych. Okay, then just delete it from here. Okay, just add stuff to the cart as you go. You can always delete it when you get into the review, review page, okay? Add-ons, these are non-wall art products. I can build a custom add-on if I need to, or I can choose from the existing add-ons that I have built in manage, uh, in manage add-ons in my Swift Galleries account. I like the mini print wrap set. This is a set of three four by six print wraps. And now I just need to know the image numbers 
for when I am putting my order through. All right, so let's say I like this uh, black and white. And this other black and white right here. And I want a color image that's vertical. Here we go. All right, that's automatically added. I can choose any more as I'm going. Like I said, I can custom add those on, save and go to next. I can determine if I wanna even show the discounts beforehand or not, but if I'm doing something like print credit, I can put that in. If I'm doing something like a sales meeting discount, they get 5% off for actually ordering at the sales meeting. I can do that too. If I need to remove something, I just click this remove button. Again, automatically updates as I go. And then if you have Swift Gallery set to um, take payment, oh, sorry, if you have Swift Gallery set, it's hard to talk and type at the same time, to collect sales tax, this is the area where they actually um, collect or determine what amount to collect. So you need to put your client's information in there. But if you don't, for some reason, want your client to receive an email receipt, you could put your own email address in if you wanted to. All right, here's my overview of what's in my cart. If I had payment collection turned on via Stripe in Swift Galleries, it would bring me to a credit card form. All right, this looks good. If I need to print um, a receipt, I can do that here. Otherwise, my order um, is being emailed to my client. This is what that looks like. This is gonna show all the general information that they need. Um, and that's it. Your client has gone through a slideshow. You've ch helped them choose yes and no images, compared if you need to, gone through the design process, added any non-wall art items, um, put in any discounts, and um, you can even collect payment. We didn't do that in this case because I didn't want to actually have to collect payment for it. Um, and that's all done. Your client's done. Now it's your turn to go and place your order with your lab. Let me know if you have any questions along the way. I am always happy to help. You can leave a comment below or send me an email to hello at swiftgalleries.com. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your day.